Welcome back everyone. I want to do a follow-up on some uh, of my other videos concerning the rooster frame and uh, talk about a couple things. Uh, one of them is that uh, I never intended to say, wow, don't buy this frame because it sucks. I think it's a nice frame. I just was pointing out some things I thought can be improved on it. So don't take me wrong on that. Um, some of the issues I had were the, the camera angle. And just for you guys, I went and bought this Fox Ear Predator. I'll put it in there. I'm a little concerned still about its range of motion, whether it's appropriate for everybody or not. Maybe it's a non-issue. We'll get to that later. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, one of the things that was a big raging issue on this frame was the, the mounting system for these arms and then the fact that they had motion on here. And the video I made regarding that I wasn't talking about so much that the motion was bad as that uh, Chris on his uh, video was saying that they don't move. You could tighten them down tighter with whatever bolts you want and uh, they just didn't move. But yeah, they do. They do. And, and, and we know that. Uh, but I've never tried to allude to the fact that really that's an issue. I don't, I, I've never said that I think they're going to be flop, flopping around in flight and that there would be any uh, uh, problems with it. And he did a follow-up video on this too. He talks about that when the arms are fully like against the edges of their slop together that the props won't hit. And yeah, that's that's fine. And then even if this motion here probably won't make any difference. It's a few millimeters of uh, flight characteristics. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe a little bit. I've never really been concerned about it. I didn't even put it in my first video. Uh, the other thing I... I even made a video just kind of making fun of it a little bit, and I didn't mean any bad by it, but the sunk, <coughs> excuse me, I think I'm a little bit under the weather here. The, um, he calls them sunken nuts, so they can also be for, referred to as crest nuts or uh, recessed nuts. And if you haven't seen my other videos, these are these have been an issue with people too because they um, it's not easy to put those in there you can use a hammer you can use a press a vice whatever there's multiple ways that go in there and it usually ends up delaminating the carbon a little bit I know mine are there's six of these that you have to put in and at first I was thinking you know just it's just a terrible idea to have to press something into carbon which is designed as a brittle material that doesn't like to give and that's what causes the delamination in this case it's not a big deal because this plate really I could see that it might be a little bit structural but it's not intended to be structural all it does is make it so when you unscrew an arm to replace it it just holds the nuts there for you for convenience and then you put it back so really this piece doesn't the fact that it delaminates really doesn't make any difference but it's just not, I don't know, it, it, I think it, it, it's still, we'll say that I don't think it's good engineering. But when I, I bought another frame to play with here, this is the Catalyst Machine Works America frame. And I'm going to build this for you in another video. And it came with kind of the same process here. It has recessed nuts or press fits nuts or sunken nuts, whatever you want to call them. Um in a plate here and then I'm sure that I haven't built this yet but I'm sure the arms go on and then you bolt through the arms and then that holds the arms on and that's that's how it works and it's, it's essentially the same the difference here is that these came pre-installed on this frame or on this piece and you can see that not all of them are quite uh, set the same way so I don't know if they're pressing them in or if, uh, I don't know what the process is for putting them in, but they, I don't see any delamination on this carbon. So maybe the uh, holes are a slightly different size to match the nuts. Maybe the process for installing them was different with a press or something. I don't know, but what I can tell you is that if this piece had come like this with them installed like that, I never would have thought twice about it and I would have just installed it and moved on. So this might be a good 
thing for Armitan to consider. So you don't have people making fun of them or you know, just complaining really about why do I have to take a hammer to my carbon fiber frame. So it is possible to use these. Maybe I'll take my uh, I'll eat my words about not using sunken nuts and carbon fiber. I still yeah I can see why you'd want to do it. I mean, what what would be a better solution? I'd like to hear from you on it. And uh, I'd like to hear any other comments you have about this. So I'm going to leave this video at this point. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I'm not sure what's next. I might build this Merica frame. I have a Norris frame too to build. I have some other interesting projects around here. Uh, it's just kind of snowballing on me. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to get caught up. But I'll see you in the next video. Take care.